What's going on guys? Gamerman55214 here. I'm here bringing you a new redstone tutorial. Today I'm going to show you two different types of uh, type of doors for uh, piston doors. Alright, so this is the first one. Uh, this can be used like in the side of a mountain. If you want like a nice mountain hidden place where nobody can find it. Um, all these are in... Um, I'm going to do in game mode S. Alright, so... This is um, my door. This is for like an underground type of base. So that way you have a stairs like like a mine maybe. If you want like a hidden mine you don't want to share. And it's real simple and really easy. Um, this is all that goes into it. I will show you how to make it. Don't worry. I'll show you how much of uh, what you need for that. But I'll show you the second one next. All right, so this one is if you want an underground one, but you don't have a mountain or anything. It's undetectable. I mean, you can hide this in, like, a tree or something. But uh, you just drop down into your secret base. There's my secret base, as you can tell. You get it? <laughs> uh, the only way to get back out from me right now is uh, game moding. But that's pretty much how, uh, just, like, an example of what you'd use that for. Like, you could have, like, a secret tunnel heading out, so that way... You could just, like, escape or something. I don't really know. But, um, yeah. So we are going to jump back into... First, actually, let me grab a, a stack of stone, because that's my building block of choice right now. And uh, I will teach you how to uh, build that door. This is the original. I'll show you this. Uh, it's the original of that one. If I open it up here. As you can see, these slide out, which was not needed, and it just took more pistons and necessary so to save on resources this door is a lot easier and it's a lot faster too as you can tell by that it's a lot faster just jump down and uh, of course you can buy I'll, I'll tell you when we make it all right so here's the resources we're gonna need okay this is for this door we're gonna need six sticky pistons six redstone repeaters 25 redstone block of choice you're gonna need Roughly a stack of your block of choice. And I need three um, redstone torches. Okay, so this is really simple. I'm going to take you right over here and I'm going to show you how to do it, alright? Now, first things first. You're going to want to make this little machine here. I don't have a uh, shovel I should have grabbed. But, uh, yeah, so you start with this machine here. You put a redstone torch on each side. It doesn't matter which one you start with. And then that on top. Okay, now what, this is your input here, so you want to take whatever your button, you don't want it to reach to this top here, and then because of that torch down there, it powers it through that block, and so, like, when you take, oh, you're going to need a one button too, but you take your button, and it switches it over, and you can see it's not powered anymore, but yeah, that's how that works, um, let me... Let me creative mode and grab a pickaxe because I am not prepared apparently. We grab some diamond ones. I can't spell either. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that's that's how you make that. And um, so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring this over. Let's get the nice like wall here of where we're going to want to put it. I'll put the door right, right here. And then you put your pistons there. Just just put your pistons where the door is. And you can put this like to the side, like way far away if you want. I'm just gonna have mine right here. Now you, this is gonna be like Oh, I messed that up. I'm sorry. But your resources technically are gonna depend on um where you are going to be putting your stuff. Like how far away you make this from your actual device and stuff like that. So then you want to dig down because with this open, you want to dig this down so that way you have the nice stairs that, that will be hidden afterwards. And then you want to actually dig these down, like three. Place your sticky pistons up. Come behind them with two blocks worth. Put these, 
and then you want to wrap this around and take it all the way you want to actually go more over so that way you don't get detected by your uh, staircase what's this perfect so fill that in fill that in and then you want these on here And then bring your redstone all the way over. Connect it like that. You're going to want to place this roughly there. <laughs> uh, so that's basically it, to be honest with you. Um, hopefully you didn't get lost anywhere. Uh, basically, you make this special machine here. And when, when you attach your button to it... not You don't have to attach your button to it, but like... Like, for example, you take this... You build up your wall to where you want your button, and say I want my button, like... Oh, that's gotta be covered. So I want my button here, alright? So then I take my blocks, and run it like this. Except for it's... I don't want it lit up, so I gotta put that on top. So that way when you press the button, it opens and closes. And that is how you make that. Now the next one, I haven't uh, put much aside to it, unfortunately, so I'm just going to go game mode C. And then what you're going to need is you're going to need just a couple sticky pistons, uh, some redstone re and repeaters, and a lever. And of course you can use that, again, to use a button if you want. That's how you make a button a lever, pretty much. But you want to dig down as far down as you want your base. So I just want mine that far. So you're going to want to go down one and then make a two hole like that. You want to play sticky piston up. I actually make it like like a little walkway there, I guess. And like that. Or not like that because you don't want that block. You want that block. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is dig this around. where it gets to this but you're gonna want to bring it around so when you do your redstone it goes like that so you don't want it connecting this way otherwise it will not power that so then you bring it over here you're gonna want to bring a block up here like this so you can put this here with that you gonna put this on four ticks delay that's very important and that's actually that's it um then what you do is you put your block anywhere connected to the uh, redstone so like if i want it like like right here i'd put the redstone up one like that bam and that will power it and open and shut and then you can just drop down uh hopefully i didn't really lose you let me open it up just so you can get a little snapshot of what it looks like As you can see, it's not really that difficult. It's just a matter of placing what where. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or you want me to go over anything, uh, criticize on me. Let me know what was stupid and what's not. I'm just going to show this off just because I like this so much. This is uh, an, ele an item elevator, and a lot of people know of this. But you can actually see the item going up. And up, and it goes all the way to the top most of the time, but I don't have it set. I don't have the walls up. But, yeah, it's literally exactly as it looks. It has to have the uh, thing, the uh, curve. Because it has to go up the side, and then it goes up and up and up. As long as you have the walls up, it'll go up. Because I found on mine it was not working because the walls were not there. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's the doors. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if I did anything bad. But um, I thought that went pretty well for us, you guys. And then you have your mind down there, or your house, or anything like that. Now, let me know if you guys want me to do a door where, it, like, it opens up. Like, instead of opening up, the, like, a mine, it goes straight forward. Let me know if you want that. Because I know I can do that. I just want to know if you guys want to or not. So uh, let me know in the description. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to watch more. And uh, have a nice day. That was way too long of an outro. Goodbye.